Welcome to this tutorial on how to add new Webflow form submissions into Microsoft Excel automatically. Guys, if you have created a website using Webflow and you have a form on that website for getting subscribers or for collecting leads, this automation video is going to help you a lot because here we are going to create an automation by which whenever you are going to get form submissions on your website, the details of the form submissions will be saved in your Microsoft Excel sheet automatically and it is going to be a great time saver for you and it will also reduce your manual efforts and we can set up this automation without any coding. So let's begin. So we are using Pavli Connect which is an automation and integration tool to set up this automation and this is the landing page of Pavli Connect and I'm going to paste the same link in the description so that you can sign up for free from here and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can sign up right now from the given link. After that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. From here, you can click on this create workflow button to set up your workflow of automation. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here to this uh, workflow as webflow to ms excel okay just like this so after giving such name just click on create button and you will see your workflow page loading up like this and here you will find these two modules the trigger and the action okay so these are the basic building blocks of our automation so trigger is that event which is going to kickstart this workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So when you click on this trigger field, it will ask for choosing an application. So here we have to choose a trigger application and a trigger event. Okay. So in our use case, Webflow will be our trigger application because we are receiving form submissions on a website we have created using Webflow. So search for Webflow here. Okay, here it is selected and here we have to select the trigger event as new form submission. Okay, select new form submission and it will give you this webhook URL. Okay, so with the help of this URL, we are going to create a connection with Webflow and after that we are going to fetch the response of that connection. So let's follow these steps written here. So I'm going to my Webflow application. So this is the Webflow applications dashboard and here we have these projects running. Okay, so these are the projects of my of the websites I am creating and here I am going to click on these three dots in this project and I am going to click on settings. So the project setting page will open up. Alright, and under the project setting page, you will find this integrations tab right here. Click on it. And uh, under integrations, when you scroll down, you will find the webhooks option right here. Okay. So here we have to click on this add webhook button to create a new webhook connection. Here it will ask for the trigger type. So you have to select form submission. Okay. So here in the webhook URL field, you have to paste this webhook URL. Just click on copy from here and paste the URL here like this. And then click on add webhook. All right, so you can see a new webhook connection is created here. And here you can see guys, as we have copied the webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the webhook's response. This means now we have to perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to open the website page and I'm going to fill the form manually by myself, uh, which is which I have embedded on the website for the subscribers. And after getting the form submission, the data will be captured here in the response section and that will act as a test data for us. That's why it is called test submission. So let's open the website. This is a landing page or a website page I have created using Webflow. And this is a small form I have created for getting the name and the email address of any person. And I'm going to send here. I have created this to, uh, to send the course details to my subscribers or visitors. Okay. So I am entering the name of the person as dummy name, let's say email address is this. 
all right and here i am clicking on submit this form all right so you can see that it is showing thank you the submission has been received okay let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured and here you can see we got the data received here like this in the response section it is showing the date uh, the name as dummy name and email as dummy at the rate pavlitudes.com so we have received the test submission now with the help of this test data i am going to enter i'm going to send these details to a worksheet i have created using ms excel so in the action step search for excel ms excel which is here then we have to select an action event now so what we want to do in ms excel we want to create a row so here i am going to select add row to worksheet okay after that click on this connect button and from here select add new connection and then click on connect with microsoft excel and it will bring you to your uh, microsoft accounts login window if you are not logged in but i have already logged in in my microsoft 365 account so here you have to provide all these accesses to your account just click on yes from here and you will be connected with microsoft 365 or excel okay so we are now connected and here it is showing us the list of workbooks that we have and this is the workbook i have created uh, the name of my workbook is webflow submissions okay and this file is under onedrive okay so when you click here guys it will show you the list from here you can search for your uh, workbooks name then select it then it will ask for the worksheets name so i have only one sheet here named as sheet one so it will be uh, up, it will appear here in this worksheet field here you can see it is showing us the worksheet name as sheet one okay here it is showing these two fields the name and email address these are the headers of the columns that i have here in my spreadsheet you can see name and email address so guys i am going to map the values of these two fields from our test data that we have received from the form submission of web website so we have received this labels the name label and the email label so i'm going to map these labels here so just click here on this name field and the previous step will appear here in the drop down and when you click on it you will find the data right here from here select this click on this name field to map the name label similarly map the email label like this all right and now you can check your connection with your microsoft excel sheet by clicking on save and send test request button and this data will be sent here inside the excel sheet okay let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request all right so this is the response we have received let's check our excel sheet if we got the data so let me refresh the sheet all right and here you can see we got the data received here and this is okay so actually i have uh, mapped a wrong label here this is showing us the name of the form okay and here in the data name label it is showing us the name of the person who have filled the form so remember to map right labels here so guys when you map the labels here what happens in real time after setting up this automation whenever any real user is going to fill your form these labels will be updated here and write and real data will be delivered to your excel sheet automatically that's why it is necessary to important uh, to map the labels here okay now let me click on save and send test request one more time and we'll receive the right data hopefully this time okay this is the response we got let us let me just refresh it uh, once again all right and you can see a new row is added here with the details dummy name and dummy at the rate pavlitudes this is the same thing filled by the uh, i have filled in the form and it has it got received here now you can delete this uh, row if you want okay and we are done setting up this automation so you have to set up this automation only once after that you do not have to do anything manually in the workflow it will run silently in the background and in real time, whenever 
any person is going to fill your website form, you will receive the data automatically on your Excel sheet. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the ratepabli.com. You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link. And you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.